Well, the search continues this morning. We got an Amber Alert in effect for a missing 11 year old girl from Polk County. The yeah, authorities are looking for Audrey Cunningham. She was last seen near Lake Livingston yesterday morning. Our TJ Parker is live outside the sheriff's office there with how that search is going this morning. Is there a lot of activity there, TJ? Well, Amy and Owen, the sheriff's office say that she is in serious danger. We are outside here, as you had mentioned, did run into a few deputies who say the sheriff is actually inside here right now talking with uh, or having a meeting uh, to discuss the plans for the search today. The search includes the sheriff's office as well as the feds and the Texas Rangers. Let's show you her picture. We want to get her picture up right away. This is who they're looking for. 11 year old Audrey Cunningham. We were over in the neighborhood where she was last seen uh, an hour ago. That was quiet. That's the Lake Livingston Estates 2 and 3, but we understand that's where the search uh, was primarily uh, when this Amber Alert came out. So Audrey is 11 years old and is 4 foot 1, 75 pounds with blonde hair and blue eyes. She was last seen wearing a black hoodie with white lettering, a camo backpack, black pants and black high top tennis shoes. She was last seen at 7 yesterday morning off of Lakeside Drive and we want to also tell you the sheriff's office says she should have caught the bus there at her neighborhood bus stop. However, school officials reported to the sheriff's office that she was not picked up by the bus and that she did not make it to school. I was told we were going to get an update at some point today from the sheriff. Again, they are meeting right now inside the sheriff's office Did speak to several deputies who came out saying that uh, they are searching everywhere and anywhere for 11 year old Audrey Cunningham. So again, if you have any information about where she might be, you're asked to call the Bull County Sheriff's Office. Of course, we're going to stay on top of this story throughout the day, and if we have any more information, we'll be sure to pass it along to you. But for now, we're live in Polk County this morning. I'm TJ Parker, KPRC 2 News.